And it's worth remembering um, that this president was never given an orderly transition of power. Um, his presidency was never accepted. We must accept this result and then look to the future. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. Our constitutional democracy enshrines the peaceful transfer of power. And we don't just respect that, we cherish it. Something that I would note is just we talked a lot about transfer of power and the election, and it's worth remembering um, that this president was never given an orderly transition of power. Um, Every four years, we gather on these steps to carry out the orderly and peaceful transfer of power. And we are grateful to President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama for their gracious aid throughout this transition. They have been magnificent. Thank you. With the announcement of two effective COVID-19 vaccines comes a new challenge, how to transport them around the world for distribution. It would take more than 8,000 Boeing 747 cargo jets to deliver enough COVID-19 vaccines for the entire world. Not to mention Pfizer's vaccine has to be stored at around negative 112 degrees Fahrenheit, while Moderna's is stored at negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit, a little bit colder than the average freezer. Some airlines are using dry ice, but that comes with its own challenges. Multiple airlines have already been figuring out logistics and say that they're up for the challenge. This man is braving a hurricane to launch a weather balloon carrying a radio sund. A radio sund is a small device with sensors that measure pressure, temperature, and humidity and transmit the data back to a ground receiver. It can travel up to 115,000 feet, and when the balloon eventually pops, it travels back to the ground with a small parachute. What do you see as the biggest threat to your transition right now, given President Trump's unprecedented attempt to obstruct and delay a smooth transfer of power? More people may die if we don't coordinate. Look, as my chief of staff, Ron Klain, would say, who handled Ebola, a vaccine is important. It's of little use until you're vaccinated. So how do we get the vaccine? How do we get over 300 million Americans vaccinated? What's the game plan? It's a huge, huge, huge undertaking. If we have to wait until January 20th to start that planning, it puts us behind over a month, month and a half. And so it's important that it be done, that there be coordination now, now or as rapidly as we can get that done. This is a type of birth control called an IUD or an intrauterine device being inserted into a uterus. Studies have found that IUDs are the most popular form of birth control used by female OBGYNs themselves and family planning providers. That's because they're over 99% effective at preventing pregnancy, and once inserted by a doctor, they're effective for 3 to 12 years, depending on the type or brand. Every four years, we gather on these steps to carry out the orderly and peaceful transfer of power. And we are grateful to President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama for their gracious aid throughout this transition. They have been magnificent. Thank you. Thank you. This could be the first at-home COVID test to get approved. The battery-powered device works by using a nasal swab that you then dip into a vial and swirl around. Results are usually ready within 15 to 30 minutes. Once the device is approved, it will first go to some hospitals to help them clear testing logs. The maker hopes to do a national rollout by spring 2021. Test cost $50. We could do like a uh did you all watch My Cousin Vinny? Did, you know the movie? My, it's one of my favorite uh, law movies because he comes from Brooklyn. And uh, when the, the nice lady who said she saw, and then he, uh, he, he says to her, how many f fingers do I, how many fingers do I got up? And she says, uh, three. Well, she was too far away to see it was only two. These people were further away than my cousin Vinny was from the witness. President? Senator from Ohio. I'd start by asking the presiding officer to please wear a mask as he speaks, and people below him are, I can't tell you what to do, but I know that the behavior... I don't wear a mask when I'm speaking, like most senators. Well, I, most senators... So I'll, 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 but I don't need your instruction from... Anybody. I know you don't need my instruction, but I, there clearly isn't much interest in this body in public health. We have a president who hasn't shown up at the coronavirus task force meeting in months. We have a majority leader that calls us back here to vote on an unqualified nominee and, and at the same time to vote for judge after judge after judge, exposing all the people who can't say anything, I understand, the people in front of you and the presiding officer 
and expose all the staff here, and the, the majority leader just doesn't seem to care.